with thanksgiving in your heart and give him praise and give him praise come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart your voice is raised your voice is raised give glory and honor Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us thank God for adding one more dawn and one more day to our life. Today, Jesus is inviting each one of us to abide in him. The condition to abide in Jesus is to keep the commandments. Let us ask the grace to keep the commandments and abide in Christ. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us be sorry for our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your people gathered here. We confess we have sinned in thoughts and words and deeds. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace those sinners we are made just, and though pitiable made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verses 7 to 21. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and elders, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke 
that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we are saved to the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they, the whole assembly, fell silent. And they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as it is written. After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he had been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Our response, proclaim, proclaim to God's, God's marvelous deeds to, to all, all the nations. nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Our response? Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Our response? Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord. Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Chapter 15, verse 9 to 11. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Robert Brightson was, a, was one of the great preachers. There was a tradesman who had a little shop and in the back of his 
shop. He kept a photograph of this Robert because Robert Brightson was a hero of this tradesman and his inspiration. Whenever this man was tempted to do some bad things, he rushed into this back room and looked at the photo of this Robert Brightson. Then he could get rid of from that temptation. Today's gospel passage, Jesus says, Abide in me. Abide in Christ means something like that. In the secret of Christ's life was constant contact with the Father. That is why very often he withdrew into the lonely places to meet the Heavenly Father. In our life also, we must have constant contact with Christ. In order to have constant contact with Christ, we must take step for that. So we must take initiative, we must take pain in order to have constant contact with Jesus in our life. For example, in the morning, we must find out time to pray. If it is only for a few minutes, then what would happen? That would create an antiseptic energy in our life for the whole day so that we may not be able to touch evil things in our life. So, constant contact with Jesus is very necessary in our life so that Jesus abides in our life. For few people, abide in Jesus means to have mystical experiences that cannot be expressed in words. For many of us, abide in Jesus means to have constant contact with Jesus in our life. That means arranging prayer, arranging our life, arranging silence in such a way that we will be always in the presence of Jesus and we will not be able to touch evil in our life. So, dear brothers and sisters, the invitation of Jesus to abide in him is a challenge for each one of us. Let us try our best to abide in Jesus so that we will be able to get rid of from the evil that are present in our day-to-day -day life. Take a heart, we love you.
you take our lives, oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you set. Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget. We are the sand of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Father, we are yours, we are yours. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, everyone with a paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Who was that is that is? You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed, and indeed willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are we, the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We make our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Christ.
Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people. We pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we'll pray that our unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. By our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. And till brother will spread the word that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. By our love. Yes, they'll know 